Good morning, North America. Friday the 13th, coming at you. This is Privateer FX, trying to show you the way. We got paid this morning uh, on our yen call, dollar yen higher, euro yen higher, sterling yen. We've squared all that up now, and to be fair, considering uh, we're heading into the weekend, and we're on the cusp of war, and all kinds of murky bullshit is happening in the world, uh, we wouldn't be surprised if we have some sort of move risk off left-hand side um, into the New York session after the NYSC open, perhaps. How do we position for that? A couple things you could possibly do. You could go out on a limb and buy some gold. Um, especially because this level up way up here is going to attract. And if we do go to war over the weekend, <laughs> gold's going to open up 80 bucks higher on Monday. If we don't go to war, Gold's not going to do too much. It's already had a bit of a puke here, so it's risk reward on the pr on price action volatility looks pretty good on gold. You could sell S and P's. Looks pretty bid for now. Um, we're probably going to take a peek above this 75 level today. We are still uh, consistent sellers between 90 and figure this whole sideways nutmeg here is still in play and you're gonna have a lot of false breaks on the top side also false breaks on the downside we're in one of these sideways configurations where the market is attacking both longs and shorts only the high conviction positions can survive all the weak hands on both sides get done so Maybe look to sell to fade rallies into 90 figure in S&Ps. Um, if you want to use the yen as your risk off proxy, you're going to be running into support here uh, into 45, 107.45 if we touch down there and have a pivot or you could kind of sell through 34. Don't know. Dollar yen vol's pretty sucky recently so I'm not sure that's, that's, your, that's your horse. Aussie Yen, you could sell a high one. Let's look at the dailies. You can see Aussie Yen's come up from 80.50 to 83.80. It's pretty decent, uh, pretty decent move, basically 4%. Maybe selling a high one in Aussie Yen. Problem is, where's your stop? Don't know. Anyway, as far as setups are concerned, um, Euro we traded up to 50. This downside looks pretty juicy now. Um, through the figure. Should yield. There's going to be stops now. Intraday stops. From the Europeans down there. People are long Euro Yen. And... Euro's been in this little range. Nice neat place to have a stop just below the figure. So this may attract. Cable on the other hand looks pretty darn bid. I'm not sure what to do with it here. Looks like we can go a fair bit higher still. But we took the money and ran on this one. I'm not really sure on cable. One of the things that are driving cable what's driving cable is this Euro Sterling chart. We broke these sort of seven month lows yesterday. And now we've continued on this downtrend. Looks like this this has a ways to go now. I don't understand why it would do this, but you don't really need to know why. You just got to trade price. <coughs> Euro sterling looks set to continue. Excuse me. What else is out there? EM. 12.16 is too far. Looks like we're just going to be on a wait and see holding pattern here. No great 
technical patterns to trade going into New York. If you're still long cable, you can job it on the long side. And if you're still long sterling yen, uh, you can also job it on the long side. But like I said, we've squared, and we're going to take a fresh look when the uh, stock market opens. So I guess I'll just leave you with that. Watch your headlines. Watch the Twitter feed from uh, Mr. Donnie Trump. And uh, just be prepared mentally for some possible risk off headlines coming your way. All right, guys, good luck. Couple of, uh, oh, one last thing, couple of Fed, Fed speakers today. Um, we got uh, Rosen, 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 Eric Rosengren speaking at 2 p.m. Swiss time. We got the big bull, James Bullard. He's at 3 p.m. Swiss time. And then we have the SAT practice course, Mr. Kaplan. 7 o'clock Central European time. All right, guys. Good luck out there. Talk to you later. Ciao.